Now we're going to take a quick look at the prayer function on the web. If you go under Ministries, we can go down to Prayer. And I need to take the I Pray Challenge off. I deleted the page, forgot to delete the menu option. And so we go over here to Prayer. And we see we have a description of what will happen with the prayer form that is filled out. You can enter in your mission here. And if you'd like to be contacted, then you have the opportunity to enter in your contact information. You send the request, and once you send the request, then it will come over here, and it will be draft status at that point. And you'll also get a notification of that, and so you'll know it has have, have all the information from it. Once it comes through, though, then it will still also be here, and it will be a draft. You can go in, and if there are changes you want to make, you can edit them. You can also do edit, and you can just change it over to published if you're ready to make it published. Now, you don't have any place on the website to access the prayer request directly. Uh, if you want that, we can make that happen so that it is directly accessible through a link on the website. But I expect that for the most part you're wanting your prayer warriors to be able to access this and send them the link separately to be able to get there. And the place that we have that uh, is at marshfieldfirst.org slash prayer submission, I believe. I'll check just to make sure that's what we have here. And uh, we will click view here on this page. Yes, that's where it's at. Prayer dash submission, I believe. Uh, I guess is what I say. Now there's a password for this site. I will send that to you. Once you enter in the password, then you are able to see the con. We have a prayer request here. It will be bullet pointed all the way down through all the requests that have been made. Come in here and we see the full request. Now I didn't type anything simple here. It was just a test to see if it was working. People can leave a reply to this and not automatically notify the person who had made the prayer request though. And so that wouldn't necessarily something you would want to do. Uh, but that is really the extent to which you'd be um, involved in making things happen correctly with a prayer request. If any trouble you could let me know. Uh, I know that you've had a thing on there saying that they would be deleted only after 30 days. I don't have functionality built into here to make it delete automatically after 30 days. You're welcome to go back through and remove them as they happen, and uh, and that would be fine. Uh, uh, right now, then it would not be automated. If you have questions, concerns, let us know. We'll give you some help.